Hello? Alright, I guess we can wait until someone... Chelsea hop back up, right? Hop on and off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching his bantry. Yeah, we're sorry, we're not sure what happened. Yeah. It just suddenly like stopped. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Are these people you know, by the way? Uh, yeah, some of you are some my moves. colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pioneer. Yeah. Yeah. Put it out there. Hey, welcome back. Sorry, the video just stopped for yeah, some for reason. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, you were talking about inequalities from the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, highly recommend. Not this book, but it's called Outliers. I don't. Unfortunately, I only have it in my Kindle. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but that sounds good. It looks at like um, problems. So I was like, I think it's quite relevant to Hong Kong. You know, with like yeah. what's going on in Hong Kong. There's like a lot of inequality. It's like I think it would be a great read. You know, just like something to help you with human if you have humanities class. You know, that yeah. I think that would be really helpful. Actually, though, yeah, but... and it helps you just understand. You know what's really going on in the city you know yeah i'm sure a lot of you are living in you know either in some state or another right uh either you have you're more well off maybe maybe some of you are not as well off mm -hmm. and you can see like a bigger picture and not just what's going on in your life around yeah. you yeah i think it's really good yeah good recommendation all right uh, another book you could read if you're really really bored is war and peace <laughs> Apparently that is a really <laughs> It's a real book. <laughs> yeah, but it's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really bored, you can read War and Peace, okay? Okay. And it will impress all your English teachers. Okay, Nathaniel, I think it's Are time for our, our last tip. Or one of our last tips, which is like uh, something you can do. It's not really an exercise. I guess it can be an exercise. It's an exercise. It's an exercise, yeah. Hand eye coordination. Yeah, it's like... But I think this is a really cool like party trick, you know. You Just gonna like, move this out of the way before I break it. Something you can really show to other people, and like you can really see, and it's like really cool, you know, learning how, learning how to juggle. And so, I'm gonna give these. So I think we'll start. Let's see, maybe move back a little. So like, you wait, can see. I have three here. Okay, yeah, just take two first. Oh, two. Okay. So just to like make it hard, uh, I've I'm juggling a pig. Uh, I don't know what's his name, but also Jutai, Totoro. <laughs> so I'll be juggling these two things. Okay. Yes. So I'll be juggling John and Mark. Yeah. So you guys can take whatever you have right now. Like I've seen people use it with like tempo tissue. Yeah. Like that's super effective. Or just like use your like little dolls. You can just try. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just gonna try and teach uh, you guys how to learn how to juggle. Uh, you just follow along. And Nathaniel is also learning with you guys. I I do not know how to juggle. Yeah. I'm just saying, like I'm absolutely I'm horrible at it. Yeah. And it's actually something you can learn like really quickly. It's like less than an hour. I, I can juggle one ball. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> Level one achieved. Okay. So I think the first thing is just get two balls in your hand or two dolls or whatever you have in your hands. Just in your hands. And the goal is like you're trying to like hold it across you and then like throw it. So that one one ball goes up to so I'm gonna start with my right hand. And so if I throw it, I'm trying to catch it with my left hand. Right. Okay, Matt, you wanna try? Uh, so like, throw it up with your left. Or right hand? Right hand or left. Catch it with your left hand. Okay. So we're using one now. Okay. And then throw it back, left to right. What? Okay. You see. So throw it okay. and then try not to move if possible, try not to move your hands too much. Yeah. So like the ball you throw should land right on your left hand or land right on your right hand. I'm so gonna hit you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think Matt's got it like kind of covered now. Um, so like, do you want to get the second ball? Here. Yes. So second ball. So this is the trick. So the next one is like you throw it up and then like throw like McDonald's. this. McDonald's. So like you hold two, two balls or two whatever. You throw the first ball up and once it's at its highest peak, so like right when it's like right here, you use your left hand and throw it up. So I'm gonna do so you can count as well. So I'll do like one, two. One, two. Oh, one, nice two. Catch. One, two. So Nathaniel, you wanna try? You're actually good at it. So you can just one, go, two. two. Okay. Yeah. No, you're, 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 <laughs> getting, there. you're getting there, you're getting there. One, two. One, two. two. Am I supposed to do the other way around so? Just, just right hand first. first. Yeah. One, one two. two. No worries. I'm okay. so horrible at <laughs> this. One, two. two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh. 
take this opportunity to be in you. <laughs> one, two, two. Yeah. One, two. Okay. So I think that's uh, that's a good step. Actually, the next step is you just add in a third ball. So I'll just grab one ball along with my three dolls. And so what you do is you kind of do what you did just now, but add another ball. So you do like one, two, three. Bang. Like you so you count easy. one, two, three. One, two, three. So right hand goes first. You throw the ball up, and then left the left left hand throws. The left ball goes up, and then you repeat with your right hand. And you hand. start with two on your right. If two on your right. Here. Yeah. yeah. If you're right-handed, usually. Yeah. Or actually, you can, even left-handed, you can start with two on your left, right. So you do one, two, three. Really? So just count one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so good. Yeah. One, one two, two, three. Oh. I yeah. caught it with the same hand. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Try catching it with the left hand this time. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. You did oh, it. You did it. Oh, a good boss. <laughs> you did it. All right, keep practicing. Keep practicing. All right. One, one two. two. Okay. Remember, two hands on, two balls on the right hand to start off. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh, got it. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> One, two, okay, three. Okay, again. Uh, right hand. Where right hand? Yes. Yes. Right I, hand I wanted to skip ahead. Right hand, hand starts. One, two, three. Okay, almost there, almost. One last try. One, two, three. There. You did it. Wow. You did it. <laughs> yeah, this guy did it. Yeah, you guys can... I'm as shocked as everyone else. <laughs> okay, so now once you, get, you have that, just keep practicing. One, two, three. Um... You and then practice. you can just like uh, do it repetitively. So two, three, and then you can just continue. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So wow, how do you do that one? So and you just continue, right? So it's like right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Let me try to start with. Uh, start, start, start with right hand first. Start with right hand first. Just right. Yeah. One, two, three. Two, three. Yeah. So you, you, you get the idea. Like, I think you're, you you made really good progress. Getting there. He's made really good progress. <laughs> it's okay. One, two, three. Yeah. I caught two of them. Uh. Do you guys have something that you can follow along with? Don't think I can throw one ball. Well, you don't know until you try. <laughs> oh, so I think we have a new member, Cherry. Hi, Cherry. Hey, welcome. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, and Trevor. Ooh. Ooh, welcome here. Welcome, Trevor. So... Uh, basically, we're just chilling with you guys, Nathaniel and I. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them. You can ask them in Chinese. In Chinese or in English. So if any questions you have, feel free to ask us. Or Thanks, if you Jasmine. want to give any tips. Yeah, yeah so we're just going to ask, give some tips on like, you know, working at home. Yeah. So maybe just like a quick summary of what we talked about so far. Yeah. Uh, we talked about you know, scheduling during your day. Yeah. I think that's super important. Scheduling is also so important. Scheduling. Uh, second one was uh, exercise. exercising. Exercising. Cooking is a cooking. good thing to cooking do. Cooking is something you can do. Yeah. So for exercising, you could go on YouTube. You know, learn how to dance maybe, or do some sit-ups, or push-ups, or do yep. yoga even. That's yep. really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, and also for tips on how to communicate with your family, we would recommend doing something together with them. You know, not just sitting at a table and talking. You know, like cook with them or go to the park. Uh, do a project, you know. For me, I want to plant uh, herbs. I'm gonna be doing that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just uh, stuff that you could do at home while you're quarantined. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And right now, Marco's teaching me how to juggle. Yeah, that's also a tip. So if you say like, oh, you don't have any like juggling balls, no problem. Just find something which is like roundish and like soft you can juggle. So like, don't juggle an uh, apple, for example, because you'll just like. <laughs> Break. Probably hurt something. You'll probably break an apple, yeah. yeah but you can, for example, finger. juggle with a Totoro doll. Yeah. A pig. You know, just yeah. anything you can find, you can juggle. Yeah. As long as they're like similar size and like, um, yeah, and they're like soft. So Marco's teaching me because I don't know how to juggle. So yeah. I'm just going to try but it out. I think Nathaniel's done a really good job. Um, I think one, that's two, a... three. Yeah, one, two, three. Crap. <laughs> I'm re trying really hard not to hit Marco in the face, <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he like secretly like throws a ball and hits me and say, uh, just uh, bang. <laughs> like whoops. Right. No, he's a, he's a real friend, so <laughs> he's not one of the fake friends. So <laughs> beat him. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's what you do to your fake friends. <laughs> yes. Next time you get beaten by me, you know, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Right, is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. So, Bye -bye juggling. Yeah.
Thanks for teaching me. No New problem. skill, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I mean, one other thing you can top tip. Uh, one other top tip is also meditation. I don't know if you've tried that before, Ooh. Nathaniel. That sounds fishy though. Fishy? Mm. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm there's okay. actually a lot. Of re- I think no, I think you raise a good concern. But there's actually a lot of research. Um, you just just type like the word mindfulness in Google, and it tells you all about like the benefits and like what's up with like meditation yeah. and then like those kind of. So actually, there's a lot of like evidence to back. It's actually really helpful. Yeah. And you can actually just do it in a really short period of time. So maybe like that's something we can try, Nathaniel. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you mean now? You can do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So on um, meditation, when I I used to think it was related to religion, right? It has to be to do with Buddhism and stuff like mm. that. But you can meditate without it being aligned to any religion. Mm. It's you're literally just calming your thoughts down, right? Yeah. Giving yourself some quiet time. So. Yeah. You really want to try it? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, this is just like a breathing exercise, more like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see another ice hey. coffee has joined. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Marco so. and I are just about to meditate, so if you would like to join us, uh, we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so um, you guys can follow along, like for people who are watching right now. Actually, yeah. Yeah. By the way, if I can do it, you can too, because mm-hmm. this guy doesn't meditate. Yeah. <laughs> So you can just like, uh, first like close your eyes. So both of us close your eyes. And then, so people uh, live stream, close your eyes. And just slowly breathe in with your nose. And exhale. That's how I got the virus. Slowly breathe in. Hold it in for three seconds. And exhale. Can you exhale other ways? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks. Okay. And then exhale. So as you're breathing in, focus on your movement of your lungs or your stomach. So you should feel it slowly expanding and contracting. Yes. So, yeah. And then you can just keep doing that for like maybe uh, five minutes or like 10 minutes, not as long as you want. And the idea of like meditation is not like, oh, um, you're just sitting there. The idea is really just like calming your thoughts. Because like when normally during the day that you just keep thinking about a lot of stuff, like, oh, like oh, what yeah. I'm going to eat tomorrow. You know, I, that's on my mind a lot. Or like, <laughs> or like, or like, you know, like worries, right? Like, what's school gonna be like? Yeah. You, know? you have like ton of. Ton or of online worries. homework. Or online homework. Yeah. So what's actually really helpful is like you just like calm down and yeah. then like just breathe in and out and just like that really helps you like focus at the present moment because like we often like are just like our heads is like really not in the present moment. We're not really like taking in our surroundings. Yeah. We're not really like oh, absorbing what's going on right now. Yeah. And so I think what meditation does is it really helps us just like kind of focus on that. Yeah. Okay. So, How long would you recommend doing it for? Um, I think if, if you're just starting out five to 10 minutes, just like really easy, okay. you know, yeah. that's like as long as you take to use the bathroom. Like, yeah. Really. So it's like very little amount of time, but it can actually have really good benefits. Okay. Yeah. And actually, you could try playing some music. I think that might help yeah, too. Yeah, playing some yeah. music, like peaceful music. Yeah. That really like... Probably not rap. Yeah, probably not rap. Yeah, that'd be some interesting meditation. Yeah. <laughs> rap is good for working out, though. <laughs> actually, though, yeah. Yeah. Christian rap. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> or any rap. <laughs> yes. Um, I think, yeah, one other thing is, uh, I think we have this exercise called, uh, is this a fist, the fist exercise? Is it called boxing? No. <laughs> so you're not punching anyone, but you are like grabbing your fist like this. So I think everyone can just do it. So I can. You're not punching anyone, but if you want to, you can do this exercise. <laughs> We're not gonna. Stress relief. No punching. No punching. It was like Marco. <laughs> okay, but what what we are doing is basically, uh, so you can just hold out your fist like this, and then use one hand and then just grab it really tightly, and then count to ten, right? So everyone can just you guys can try it yourselves. Um, I'm just gonna count it. My hand's just moving by right, itself. Okay. Just, just hold it. Hold your hand. Okay, hold it really tightly. Hold it really tight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, like grab something really tightly. Okay, and then just let go. So that like, you should feel like your hand feels a little heavy. I mean that's a very normal feeling. And so like you can actually do this like 
and then you do it with your left hand. So you can like take turns. They say your heart is the size of your fist. Yes. It shows that I have a bigger heart than Marco. <laughs> <laughs> bigger doesn't mean more efficient. Why would you want efficiency? It's all about sharing. Sharing is caring, guys. Right. It doesn't matter that he works for an NGO. <laughs> okay. So now your hands should be feeling... So now I let go. Your hands should feel like a little more relaxed. So like these kind of exercises can really help when you're like at the moment like feeling really, really stressed. So like, mm. for example, when you're doing an exam, um, what really helps is just... Maybe like you just have 10 seconds, like you're like panicking your head. Just like grab your hand like really tight for 10 seconds and then just release and that actually like really helps like release some of that tension top tip up. low you should trim your nails before you do this exercise otherwise you're gonna have a lot of nail marks uh, another top tip is you could grab a ball probably it'll still work the same <laughs> <laughs> just hold it really tight yeah all right yeah so, yeah do you guys have any questions about anything we've discussed so far yeah yeah feel free to just like type them comments yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Ask any questions. Uh, we'll still be around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I think, yeah, if you guys still want us to... We can still give us more more top tips. Yeah, yeah. actually, though. Yeah. Uh, the top tips are really for, you know, because a lot of people are quarantined now at home. We've got nothing to do, right? So if you're really, really bored, yeah, please feel free to share what you've been doing to entertain yourself or to keep yourself busy, you know, not be so bored and lonely. Uh, and then share it with us so we can share it with everyone else. Yeah. Um, actually, there is one thing that I have been doing is I've discovered okay. online Skype calls. Oh, actually, like with really friends. cool with, with friends. friends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. obviously, if you're talking to your boss, you're not gonna have so much fun. But <laughs> <laughs> but like if you're talking with friends and stuff like that, and they're also free, you know, uh, you play some games online. There are plenty of like like drawing games, for example. I've been playing Gartic. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard of it, Gartic. IO essentially is like a drawing game so one of us draws and then the other one no, other people like try that. to guess that sounds yeah, really yeah. fun actually it's really fun yeah hey yeah. We're gonna, we might do it tonight so if you want to oh. join yeah <laughs> that's fun actually it's a really fun game yeah Yeah. so there's stuff like that uh, Facebook Messenger has a lot of really interesting online call games like you could literally just call a couple of people and then they'll have games pop up oh, and yeah. you can play those as well yeah. it's just good to pass the time yeah you know? and also like if you guys want to talk to your friends about what's going on, I know it's like harder. Obviously, it's not as ideal like if you're not like sitting not face to face, face yeah. with like a friend. Yeah, but hey, that doesn't mean you can't talk to them about what's going on in your life. Like yeah. you know, just catch up, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Obviously, you can tell them about the cool TV show you've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what TV shows have you been watching? <laughs> ah, good question. Yeah. Have you been? Uh, no, 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 no. Not really. lately. No, yeah, Brooklyn yeah, yeah. Nine Nine maybe, but like. Oh yeah, Brooklyn Nine is really. That's cool. like the new season, yeah. But like not, yeah. I haven't like watched too much. I haven't watched it. Yeah. I really want to watch the Mandalorian. Okay. But I haven't watched. That's it. like a Star Wars TV show. Star Wars, the best wars. Oh, yeah. I see another. Hey, welcome. Joined. Yeah. Welcome. Hey. Nice to meet. You. So <laughs> again, uh, we're just chilling here with you guys. We're yeah. talking about random stuff. Yeah. Um, feel free to join in the conversation. Yeah. If you have any comments or any ideas. Yeah. Looking forward to you guys jam. Oh, we didn't end up jamming. <laughs> Why am I holding a lemon? It's not a lemon. <laughs> this is a, uh, what's it called? A ball? It's, it's a ball. This is like a uh, juggling, juggling ball. ball. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the word <laughs> eluded me. Yeah, it's a juggling ball. So if you want to check out juggling, Marco just gave some top tips. We're going to upload this later and yeah. uh, you can watch back okay. and see how to juggle. Huh. I think some people say they want to, do they want us to do jam some music? Yeah, well, maybe another time because right now we don't have any instruments yeah. with us. But we would we actually could, love to, though. Yeah, we could actually do that. Yeah. And you can jam with us. Yeah. Yeah. Play yeah. along or something. We might bring, a, I think, guitar. Well, we don't really know guitar, but like keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. I do a little mm-hmm. bit of guitar. Rap. Rap. <laughs> rap. Yeah, Marco rap. can rap. No, no joke. Yeah. No joke. Yeah. Okay, I try. I try. <laughs> Mostly Eminem. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if you have any more top tips on what to do while you're quarantined and really uh, like bored, yeah. please mention them so we can just share it with everyone yeah. else as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe just to again recap some top tips. I think some people have mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think we've talked about sleeping, yeah. uh, scheduling or your time, exercising. Sleeping. <laughs> sleeping is a great top. Tip. Actually, you need to be. This is actually a really good top tip. So, um, a lot of like studies on sleep have yeah. shown that. Um, maybe napping so much isn't actually really helpful for you. Mm. So like, actually, yeah. don't nap more than twenty minutes. Um, actually, because like your brain kind of goes into 
um, the state where it's like the deep sleep, and then once you wake up from that, you actually feel more tired than mm. before. So like nap, like only like no more than twenty minutes. Yeah. At most like thirty minutes. Ten is good for me. Too. Ten, yeah, ten is good. Ten like works. a very short nap. I like yeah. it's most important you get like a really good sleep at the end of the day. Yeah. And like try to keep it consistent. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that's what we mean by scheduling your sleep, like yeah. scheduling everything, like even like when you eat, yeah. what you do in between, you know. Yeah. Uh, for Marco, he probably struggles with waking up the most. <laughs> I think we've seen that a couple of times. <laughs> but if you can wake up, you know, maybe at latest by 10 or by yeah. 9, you know, you're feeling not so up for it. Yeah. Try to do that. Yeah. Better than waking up at 12. I see some new people here. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Please be around next time. Yeah. Absolutely. Again, we're gonna be hosting this again, uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but we'll have a different. I'll be hosting. Uh, we'll have a different guest yeah. join. Yeah. Uh, she's a social worker. Uh, great tips about well-being. Yeah. Uh, she's been like posting like crazy on Instagram, supporting her friends. Yeah. Like she has some great, more great Insight ideas, and insights so on, like yeah. how you guys can like keep healthy, like both mentally and like physically. Yeah. So she has a lot more experience than either yeah. of us actually, because yeah. she's actually you know worked with you know social work. Yeah. And talk to real people. Yeah. But so. uh, Nathaniel will maybe be joining in the afterwards. Yeah. yeah, maybe. So we'll be here like every weekday on uh, 3 p.m. So do check us out. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Or you can just like say hi. You know, we'll just love to hear from you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to keep it fun as well. You know, some yeah. of the stuff we mentioned we'll actually be doing. You yeah. know, some of the top tips. Uh, today we tried out four different types of chilies. Yeah. Had an absolute blast with that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for those who are like not there, we, we tried like four different types of chili. Yes. The red one like absolutely killed us. Yes. I was like. So mm -hmm. if you've run out of money or you don't want to go out, you can't go out and you can't buy your makeup. Well, try some chilies. <laughs> your lips will absolutely turn red. <laughs> A very natural way of doing things. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we had some chilies. We tried some juggling. We tried some food Marco made as well. Yeah. And it's just simple things, you know, keep yourself occupied. Yeah. 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 Anyhow, yeah, keep yourself busy, you know, I think that's like a maybe like another tip. Like, yeah, it's like not it's nice like to spend some time alone just yeah. like with nothing to do. But it's also good to like maybe learn new skills. Like, exactly. Read a book. We introduced we recommended two books. Nathaniel recommended a fiction book. <laughs> Uh, Red Rising. We're glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Red Rising is like a really amazing. It's a really amazing book. Fiction honestly, book. Yeah. yeah, it's a series. So like you know, if you're like really want to watch, it, read the after the first book. There's like three more books after. It. Yeah, actually, there, it's gonna be two trilogies, and the I think the fifth book came out, uh -huh. and so we're just waiting for the very last one. Yeah. And it's probably the best fiction series out there that I've read so far. Yeah, I would have to yeah, agree. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for like a fiction non-fiction book to read. Yeah. I recommend this author, Malcolm Gladwell. Sorry, I can't. I know it's upside down, but he's like a really good author. Um, just talk about social issues. Yeah. And he explains things in a really simple way because he used to be a journalist. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So and easily digestible. Easily digestible. Exactly. Okay. I think that's about it for today. Yeah. What did you say? I hope you guys have enjoyed, you know, just chilling and talk, like, yeah. uh, watching us talk <laughs> with each other. I don't know how entertaining that actually was, but you know, uh, we have. That's a lot of good support from you guys. I had a lot of fun today. Yeah, I think so. I had fun yeah. trying the chilies and yeah. juggling and stuff. So that was really good. All right. Yeah. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Take care. Take care.